Hello humans and otherwise, I am Adesia and welcome back to my Blind Mods play of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We are currently trying to find out where the King of the Zora is hiding out and these kids know, but every time we get near them to listen in, they chase us away. We gotta find a specific hiding spot in order to listen in on them. And because every time we got close enough to them, they would just automatically spot us and kick us away. I figured that if we found the hiding spot, it would just automatically trigger and we would listen to them there. But no, that wasn't the case. We had to get close enough to them in a specific spot and then actively listen to them. It's not automatic at all, which is why I couldn't find the place last time. Apparently it's right here. So let's listen into them and find out where the king is. I did it, but the sludge is too thick and gross. I have failed. My king, King Dorfon, um, pretty please? Um, oh, what if you went to that one place to hide? Hey, come on, do it right. That didn't sound like him at all. I'm trying, but I can't play Muzu and the monster. Not all by myself. Hey, I've been wondering forever. The secret spot where King Dorfon is hiding. What kind of place is it? I know, right? I asked King Dorfon about it once. Um, he said it was a pristine sanctumy or something. Pristine Sanctumy? So, I guess it's a spot with clear water? Somewhere you can get your tummy clean and stuff? But these days, most of the water around the domain is like yucky because of the sludge. Mm. Oh, oh! I've heard that there's clean water flowing somewhere between Plymouth Mountain and the domain. And there's supposed to be a secret entrance behind the waterfall, too. Mm. How cool is that? Oh. A secret entrance behind a waterfall with clean water? Huh, that sounds pretty amazing. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Muzo told us we could never, ever tell anyone. It's fine. No one's listening. Anyway, let's go through our game again. This time with feeling. Ugh, can't we play something else? Well, we got that. Oh yeah, I'm currently dealing with a cold, so if I don't sound quite right, that would be why. I got so bad that I actually uh, didn't even bother editing videos when I should have. And I actually took a day off of work, too. Because it was just way too tough to even do my job with how bad the cold was. Although it is strange, when I get colds nowadays, I don't even cough anymore for some reason. It's mostly just my nose goes crazy. This is a weird kind of cold here. Oh, uh, yeah, and also one thing we needed to do was talk to this guy to find out where the fish was so we could repair the Zora armor. We might as well do that too while we're here. Yeah. So, it is you. Do you need something? I see. You seek an ancient arowana. In that case, I have heard whispers that what you seek has been spotted near Mipha's statue. Oh, we know where that is. Which is at the peak of Plainus Mountain. This rare fish that has almost never been caught and is used in the distant past to repair the Zora armor. Why has it appeared again? Is this, too, a result of the upheaval? Well then, we know where to go. So let's get going. Cold's annoying, though. My nose will go from uh, working okay, so I can breathe out of it, to just spontaneously being so stuffed up that I can't use it at all. It's like 100% blocked. And it's really hard to sleep that way. Frogs and crabs! Okay, so up by the Miva statue, which is right here. So there should be an ancient Arawana in here somewhere. Is it you? It is! Fish that has almost never been caught, yet they're literally right here, right now. That fish! I need some more arrows. That's it! I've caught with a new fish! I 
mentioned a waterfall. Well, he mentioned behind a waterfall, so he shouldn't need the Zora armor to deal with that. But it would still be useful to have regardless. Because, like, the Zora armor is really useful getting into Hyrule Castle before, because you just go up a waterfall. And you've seen basically endless waterfalls coming down. But could we go up the sludge? That's like a waterfall too, I wonder. That could be useful if that worked. Probably not. I mean, it says go up a waterfall, not a sludge fall. Like, no, but... Yeah, it was you, wherever you are at. You don't sell arrows, do you? You do! Oh. Huh? Problem is, I barely have any money left now. You are not who I'm looking for. Hey, what in the world? I thought that I could escape my restless thoughts by walking. Before I knew it, I was going around in circles. Oh, this spot. This is where Sasan and I would come to talk for hours. Uh, I'm so worried about you, Sasan. Yeah, Sasan. He's my best friend and favorite person. He's also a Hylian, like you. However, since the sledge showed up, he hasn't been showing up at the domain on the day he promised he always would. I feel like this has never happened before, so I'm quite worried. It's too dangerous to leave because everything is covered in sludge. Ugh. Guess I'll have to wait here a bit longer. Yeah. The sludge is messing up everything. Another bright eyed crab. So, where exactly was it? We need to go to fix this problem. Was it up? So I definitely want to get a hold of the Zora armor. Yeah, it was right around here, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yona! Hello, Sir Link. Have you located an ancient Arwada by any chance? If only I had that fish's scale, I could fix your precious Zora armor. Oh, was there something else I could help you with? Here you go. Whoa. An ancient Arwana! With this, I can finally re finish repairing your treasured Zora armor. Please wait just a short moment or I hurry to the workshop. It'd be a lot easier to get around now. I am so honored to reunite you with your, this item, dear Link. Yes, your yes. armor is as good as new. But it lost all its upgrades. Please take this, along with her well wishes. So happy that I was able to return it to its pristine state. It is a precious piece of armor, after all I know. It was crafted by Mifa for Link. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a highly unlike you to find waterfalls with ease. It will not help you with climbing waters that have been tainted with a sludge. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> you can't climb up sludge falls. However, with your, with your great skills, Sir Link, I'm certain you will find a way up that waterfall, clouded though it is. Whoa. Please use this well for your investigation into Princess Zola's whereabouts. Yep, see you later. Yes. Be well, dear Link. If I can ever be of use, do let me know. Hope we can chat more once things have settled down. Well, yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, so now, between Plumas Mountain and Zora's Domain, there's some kind of clear area, but where? Well, let's start down here and work our way up now that we got the Zora armor to do that with.
And we can start... Oh, there's a waterfall there, but there's also this one. We can start back here. That was... Getting pushed away by the current, which is uh, to be expected, really. I see anything up here. We go up the fall, though. Don't see anything back there either. Maybe over here? We're gonna start with a little waterfall and work our way up. And that waterfall is all sludgy. This one looks clean, too, anyway. This one looks a lot cleaner. I didn't say go up it. I next want to go up it. Well, we can since we're already here. No, Link. Why are you going? He just automatically goes up. I didn't even tell him to go up the waterfall. He just did. He just automatically did. Oh, there is something here. That, this is it. Pristine Sanctum. Behind the waterfall. Yeah. Huh. Basically, it looks like we really did need the Zora armor after all. Well, at, le at the very least, it makes it easier to go up the waterfall. Whoa, the king. He's not doing so well. Yeah, who approaches? Is that you? Well, so it is, Link. How did you find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Hold, my ever-loyal Muzu. If you speak in such a way without explanation, Link here will only be confused to what is going on. He's not good. Hello, Link. It has been some time since we last spoke. I had received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Mm. Well, well. To think that such a thing should transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. Huh? You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda disappe simply disappeared just like that? Do not sully our ears with your lies. Oh, come on. You, you were forced to apologize back in Breath of the Wild. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after... Right after the phenomenon of Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of the Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when we last we saw Princess Zelda. As well the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. Hmm. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule's castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Yeah, they probably literally did appear from nowhere. They just popped into existence for no reason. Muzo and I had left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, accompanied by a sledge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed a beast upon us. King Dorfan finally vanquished the threat. However, he was gravely injured by the sledge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. Uh. If word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. I know, right? That is why we were temporarily remaining hidden within the pristine sanctum. Uh. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths behind Hy beneath Hyrule Castle. Now my nose is all blocked up again. 
On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth have become murkier still, but from the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. It all leads back to the sky. This disaster, the sludge, the monster, and even Princess Zelda. It may well be that the answer to these riddles can only be found skyward. You must have the sword! The skyward sword, you could say. Sedan ordered Jihato, a historian well acquainted with ruins, to investigate. I wonder if any progress has been made. <laughs> Aha! So you have already spoken with Jihato, yeah? Hmm. You see that the mark of the king was mentioned on the stone slate that was restored? Hmm, indeed, I do know of it. The mark of the king refers to Azura King's scale, one of my scales, in other words. I have heard it called by the name you mentioned in an ancient ritual. However, none remain who know how it was used. This particular scale of mine may prove useful to you. By all means, take a few. There is no need for restraint. This does nothing to me. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. <laughs> after all that has transpired, and after much reflection, I have come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of King on to Sidon. <sighs> king Dorfon. In any case, that is a matter for another day, after the chaos surrounding the sludge is quieted. Yeah, sometimes... My, yeah, time to move on. Pass liner title, in this case. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about, and about the King's scale. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him you must go forth and do what needs to be done. Well, okay then. You find out... You found out, or he's hiding. Set up. We need to talk. Oh. Ah, that is Azora armor. It really is perfect on you. I have no doubt that it will help you in your search for Princess Zelda. Yes. Speaking of, have you found anything? Hmm. What? You say my father was attacked by a monster? And that Princess Zelda unleashed it upon him? What could that possibly mean? Well, for now, I fear all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let our concern overcome us. Blake, thank you for telling me about my father. Princess Zelda descending from the sky, not to mention the monster and that filthy sludge. Seems our course is scoured. You now know that the mark of the king written on the slate refers to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is that of the land of the skyfish and a floating rock in the scape of a droplet. Stand upon the land of the skyfish. That must be referring to an actual location of some sort. Yeah, I think I've been there. I'm sure that if we look at the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to the flaming rock that is in the shape of a droplet. If you find any leads, please let me know at once. I mean, is it... I, mean, I know there was a spot that we've been to that looked like... I mean, literally right there, Floating Scales Island, it looks like a fish! It's that right there!
You know, this place literally looks like a fish. That's covered in sludge. So this seems like the best place to look right now. The watery bridge connecting the Zora to the sky, let him know. The droplet shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. So. Gotta find that rock that looks like a droplet. I right, can move this slide as we go. Out of the way, sludge. What? Of course it is. There goes that. Okay, so one of the rocks is shaped like a water droplet, but This is just a bunch of random rocks here. So what one could they be talking about? Might have already seen it. Huh. <laughs> Suppose the best way here is to save it and then look, start shooting things. That way, you don't have to constantly go back and get more scales from the guy. Did you manipulate any of this stuff? No. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and just try every single one on screen. So basically, I'm going to start shooting rocks. And uh, I'll cut to the point where I actually get it. Or maybe fast forward. But I normally don't do that. Well, I think that looks like it might be it. So to go through the right perspective, right? Okay, but right back to where the Divine Beast once was. 
Wherever it disappeared to, I'd like to know. Too bad my weapon broke. Mm. Lady Yona, it is far too dangerous for you to be here. Darling, I came here because there is something I need to speak with you about. I have been thinking for quite some time. Hmm? Oh. Hello there, Link. What has happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? You saw the ancient stone slate's riddle and a pillar of light appeared? If the words upon the stone slate are correct, the path to the sky may open up if you investigate that location. Oh. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. My dear Sidon, I think that you should go with Link to investigate the Pillar of Light, as I was just about to say. For a long time, I have been concerned that you were holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected. But, my love, if you and Link join your powers, I am certain you shall be able to overcome whatever danger awaits. Work before. Hmm. That is undoubtedly true, however. Uh? Whatever is troubling you, Sidon, what you, why are you hesitating so? Hmm. I... It is simply that... Huh? Sludgy like-like. Yeah, and we're sure beef a court. Sludge-like. That monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Sight on. We can take care of the water, at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. You are right, as ever. It is up to you, my lady. Link, please. I must ask that you fight at my side once more. No problem. The beast is protecting its body with sludge. It is a mighty opponent, certainly. You must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thusly shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. So his aura is charged, he can create a bubble of water, blocks incoming enemy attack. We need to get up close and personal Be careful. I have no weapon equipped. I pressed A for let's go, but it didn't do anything. I told him let's go, but nothing happened. Be useful if, you know, things worked properly. I tell him to do it, but he doesn't. What do I do when nothing happens? Get over here! How's that weapon? Ah! 
¡Ay, mini boss! Take that, foul beast of the sludge! Is everyone all right? We were unharmed. Thank goodness, Lady Yuna. If something had happened to you, I... Ahem. In any case, it is possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return the domain at once. Thank you for the sentiment, Sidon. However, more importantly, you must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The pillar of light that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge flying from the sky, or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us, dear Sidon. Your friend needs your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Or to the top! Since we're going to the top, we're going up. Well, well, of course it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. <laughs> Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will not be on our own for long. We shall be just fine. Hmm. But... Sight on, my darling. I truly appreciate that you worry so for my safety. It speaks of the kindness in your heart. Huh? But you are the Prince of the Zora. One day, you will lead the people of your beloved domain. I can see right through you, whether you want me to or not. You are yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. Yes, be like Link! But I... Come now. Enough is enough! Oof. You are not acting like yourself! Hey now. You must leave this place to me! Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart, as you always do. Like my old self. Like I always do. Yes, yes. It is alright. I swear it. I am not going anywhere. I see. And there it is, clear as day. I was giving in to my fear of once more living with someone I love. Yeah, like when I lost Mifa. I... I... <laughs> ah! Uh, you are right, Yona! I will not give in to this fear. Nor forsake my trust in you. I'll leave this place to you, my love. Off we go, Link. There's that pose! <laughs> the Pillar of Light! So please it ahead, my friend. There's a sign on I know. <laughs> <laughs> it seems Sion has finally put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I am so glad. All this time, he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister, Mipha, the poor, tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. Whoa. Yet he has overcome this trial and placed his faith in me at last. The sight that I know and love has come back to me. <laughs> Link, please take good care of my dear Sidon. He is the sun of my sky. Oh, I plan to. I already know he's going to be the uh, water sage. Let's see what he got a real claymore. We already got a bit of that. With him doing what he did. And it's the easiest way to get down there now. Probably up there. What are those? Where are those things at? Uh, I'll check a gumball machine thing. Was there one around here? Let's see if I can see if they got those fire hydrants in them around this area. If one of those is around here, I could use it. I don't see anything. But it's you. 
And for that, I got separated. Eh, yeah, probably the usual. Yeah. Oh, they're just... They're really just way down there? That's not even hard to get to. Gotta march with some sludge. Well, that's just right down here. So we can take care of this immediately. Nice. Those Korok seeds. Thanks for being my friend. Four isn't going to be enough for anything, of course. It's too little. Yeah, I don't see one of those uh, gumball machine things around here. That'd be useful. So, after completing this dungeon, we're obviously going to get Sidon as a, an ability like that for his water thing. But then the question is, how are we going to swap between them? There's obviously going to be some way to do it. This is certainly uh, different than it was in Breath of the Wild. I mean, you're still going to you're still getting an ability per main dungeon you complete. It's just used very differently. This is now Mipha's grace. What is that? It's what it is. What else would it be? I mean, there's nothing else. Uh, there's nothing else that could be other than what it is, right? Over there. What is that? Something resembling a pillar of light has appeared eastwards of our lake. I wonder if this too is related to the upheaval. Yep, I've already been uh, planning ahead on how I'm going to continue with this. But right now, I mean, we're going to continue, we're going to complete this dungeon, and then we're going to go into the underground again, because we've got something that needs to be done there. But for right now, we're going to stop. And so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if for whatever reason you want to talk to me, you can find me on Discord in the link in the description.